You're going to have a one group that's going to perform in the past tense, past a year ago. Another group is going to perform in the present tense or right now, uh, 228, February 28th. Uh, 2021, and then another group, a third group that will perform in a um, Zoom meeting in uh, 2022. So there's going to be three groups, three time periods, and three different stories told. So I'm going to introduce the first group uh, is Michelle and Don. If they would uh, click on, this is Michelle. And this is Don, and they are going to be in the past tense. Tonight, all the groups are exploring uh, characters whose relationship are cousins. So we're examining the wide, wacky world of cousins. Everybody's got a great one, and everybody's got a crazy one. And uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, these are yours. So Michelle and Don will be in a, a, a meeting, a Zoom meeting from as cousins from a year ago. And then we have Robin and Josh. And Robin and Josh will be performing cousins. As you can see, their names are, their character names are Oliver and Gloria. And they will be performing in the present tense, 2021, tonight. And then the third group, Jackie and Judy, will be performing in the future. They will be in a Zoom meeting cousins in a Zoom meeting from one year from now, February, well, it won't be February 28th, but it'll be 2022. So we have the past, the present, and the future performing multiple scenes, which they will edit themselves. Uh, what an examination of weird cousins. So if I could have everybody uh, do their stop video, we will start in one moment. And thanks for your patience, everybody, for waiting for us to get it together in order to have this uh, performance. We're very excited about it. And for our first scene, remember, we take you to the past, a Zoom meeting from a year ago. Wow. God, I already miss you. Yeah, Don, it's um, it's been it's been tough since I moved away, not being able to yeah. see you. Yeah, I, I bet it's great. I bet being in a new place with a a new bunch of friends and stuff. Well, it's mixed. I mean, it's um, I. I'm starting to get to know people, but today I'm kind of mostly thinking about all the bills I've got to pay. Um, yeah, maybe just, you know, take the day off, go out and find a coffee shop, get some hot chocolate or something, you know, like we used to do. Mm, I remember those days. Talking about all of the strange things that my parents used to do before they split. You know, maybe part of their being weird was how it is that they split. Thank God you were there for me, Don. Yeah, you know, my favorite. And you're, you are mine. Uh, we got to get together soon. We, I'm not going to put up with this. Yes. But Zoom is cool, huh? Zoom is neat. There's a new feature where mm -hmm. you can actually, um, you can move a person. Really? Uh, yeah. I know. It looks like the Brady Bunch. It is so weird. Well, it's good to see you anyway. Well, next time, next week, same time, okay? See you then. Okay. Uh, Gloria, talking to you just always calms me down. You know, I never should have signed up to take that class. I told you, I... 
I told you that taking that class could, could, you could pull something. I mean, yoga, it's supposed to be good for you, but you could pull something. I'm worried about that. I had to try it. I just heard it was something I needed and, and I just had to try it, Ollie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I mean, I get it. Uh, there's always new things to try, uh, especially nowadays. I mean, after being, you know, isolated for so long and all that, I mean, you want to reach out and try stuff and there's all this stuff on YouTube and all that, but it hasn't been properly tested and checked. I mean, we don't know what it might do to you. And, and I, I need to count on you being there. Holly, oh, you're Boy, always really. so afraid. You're afraid I'm not going to be here, but I'm always here. I'm always here when you need me. Oh, thank. I mean, you're right. Uh, you you know, and that's why, I mean, even, you know, when we were six, you know, and, and I'd freak out and you'd be there all calm and saying, you know, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And, and you're still doing that today. Uh, unless, just, remember, unless you were, unless I was with my friends and then I would be like, Ollie, get out of here. I know, God, and I was so, <laughs> oh, I'm still embarrassed to think about how I hung on to you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, well, sometimes I think it's my fault that you're so afraid of everything. I don't know. I think if it weren't for you, I'd just be totally like flipped out. Oh, so, yeah. Well, oh. I'm glad you think that now. After I was a little mean in kindergarten. Yeah. Yeah, a little mean, yeah, but uh, yeah, and, oh, and sorry. I, I, maybe I do need, maybe I should get therapy, maybe, maybe I should get therapy, maybe you're right, maybe there's something, what if there's something really deep down that we're not, I think there is something really that I'm not in touch with. Oh, Nancy, Nancy. Yeah, I'm going back. You're going back to work, eh? Well, I I am back. I'm just doing it from home. It's a new hybrid thing. I'm back, but I'm home. I'm glad. I'm glad you're working. I, I kind of miss working, but I can't find anything. I'm too old. I'm older than you. Well, Nellie. Being older than me doesn't make you old. Yeah, well, in the job market, it does, dear. <sighs> old is an attitude. You're young at heart. I am young at heart. I, I, I'm very young at heart. I've always been young at heart. And I got to say, you got the best landscaping in the neighborhood. I think you that's know, the most important part of any house. You know, my flowers, my flowers, they've won awards. Awards, darling, awards. Well, that's exceptional, Millie. You must that's be so what, proud. I'm very proud. Fortunately, it doesn't bring me any money, but I'm proud. Millie. I think you're telling me you're short on cash. Actually, no, I'm doing pretty well. I just didn't want to lend you any if you needed it. I was making sure you didn't need any money. I, I, I haven't got any to lend, dear. Nellie, I get a paycheck. Working from home is still working. I get a paycheck. Good, that's good. Because, I mean, when we were kids, you used to always come and ask me for money. When we were kids, I didn't have money. I was a kid. Like, it's, I'm a grown up now. I have a job. I have a house. Oh, look at you. Look at you. You're all grown up now, aren't you? And you're just being a grown up, aren't you? Nellie. Oh. 
Me like see. I'm, I'm over 60 and you're talking to me like I'm still five. Well, you are four years younger than me. I am. I will always be four years younger than you. You will. Always. So I'm the wiser one. With better flowers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you those two things. You're wiser and you got better flowers. But I'm not coming to you for money. Well, thank God for that. Really, thank uh, Nancy. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. I hope I've set your mind at ease. I'm much calmer now. I don't have to worry about you because I worry. I worry about you constantly. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. For a minute, I thought you just were watching your bank account, but you worried about me. No, Nancy, you're like a sister, like a sister. You've always been like a sister, my kid sister. So I worry, I worry, but I got money put away. I'm fine. I just worry about you. Would you like some flowers? I'll make you a bouquet. I'll send it over. I mean, I got that little neighborhood boy and, and he, he, he run, he'll run things for me. And I mean, you're only a block away. You know what I realized, Don, this morning, I can tell from a person's tone of voice that they're upset, even when they deny it. Well, that's a great, uh, great thing to have. It's like, it's like a superpower. I think it has to do with the whole process of my parents' marriage disintegrating when I was a kid. Right. It's possible. You know what? I think I might have the same sort of thing, too. It's like a third sense. It's kind of like you just sort of feel it. That's what I feel. I feel it. Well, it makes sense because... the way you count you coach me through those years you know you keep bringing that up I, and and it's just uh, that's just what i that's just what a person does okay you don't owe me anything all right well i can't f forget it no, I don't, I don't want you to forget it. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. I miss you. <laughs> I really... We got to plan something. We got to plan to get together. Yeah, soon. They say, they soon. say soon. people will be able to get together soon. I can't wait. I can't wait for that. Yeah. Feel so good. Okay. Have a hot chocolate for me. <laughs> Will do. Well, just, just forget it. I, I don't need the money back. I just get satisfaction out of helping you and not having to worry about your situation. But if I wouldn't have signed up for the class, I would have the money to give you. It's okay. It's okay. You know, I owe you, you know, look, you were, for all intents and purposes, you were, you've been my sister the whole time. I love you like a sister. Would I insist on my sister paying, well, I might, my sister, you know, my sister, but it, I would not ask you to pay. It, it's not a loan, it's just help. But the guilt, the guilt is eating me I sleep, I go to sleep and I think, I gotta get Ollie the money, I gotta. I just have to, Ollie. Boy, I love you, but sometimes you are so exasperating. I'm trying to tell you, forget about it. And you're not, 
you're not hearing me, you're not hearing me, you're so wrapped up. I'm, I feel proud to be able to help you out. I know, but I always thought those people that don't pay their loans back, they're like freeloaders and I didn't ever want to be. I don't know. You've been out of work. That. You've been out of work for almost a year. It's been right? Hard. It's not your fault. I've I been lucky. This. I've been so lucky. Let me just, I'm just going to throw a little bit of that luck on you. Why not? Why should it be all on you? Yes, look, that's it. I see you. You're softening up a little bit. That's the Gloria that I love underneath. You know, Ollie. I'm just saying organic vegetables are better. They like are. who knows what you know what's in those pesticides? It could like give you a cancer. I don't want the cancer. I don't want the no. cancer. Jenny had the cancer. I don't want the cancer. No. So so you buy so you go to Whole Foods or one of those fresh food places or even the farmers market and you get your kale and stuff organic. Well, Louie, I got to tell you, Louie at the farmer's market, he's the best. Louie, you go, his is the fourth stall on the left on Fifth Street. You got to go to Louie. He's the best. And I swear he's organic. Okay. That's good to know. In the meantime, with all your land and your landscaping and your flowers, you could grow some, I don't know, some tomatoes. Nancy, I got something to tell you. I'm not actually in New York right now. I went to the Bahamas without you. I'm sorry. Well, um, it is marvelous, Mary, that you're at the Bahamas. Oh, it's wonderful here. I'm loving it. I haven't had a vacation in years. But you could have told me. What's it like for me to find out after the fact that you went to Bahamas and you didn't, I mean, you don't have to have me along, but you didn't so much as tell me. Well, Nancy, it's like this. When we were kids, we always talked about going to the Bahamas or Bermuda, and we never did. And I was afraid you'd be upset with me. I'm happy for you. I'm really happy. I no, just really happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just a little hurt that you kept it a secret. Next time, next time I'll bring you because I found these these really cute waiters here. I think one would be perfect for you. Millie, you're missing the point. I'm sorry. Man. My dad is a jerk. Oh, he's acting up again. I'm sorry. You know, I don't I don't understand it. OK, I, I don't the, the man, the man, he's there's no logic there. I think it's gotten worse since he's gotten older, Don. I'm just saying. I'm stuck with him in this house. OK, neither of us can go out. I got to work it out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's very hard. Close quarters. He's getting very difficult. Uh, I, Can you take walks? Get away from him? We're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to stay inside the whole time. Listen, I, 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 this is not the best advice I've heard from you before. I must tell you. 
it, it, I, I don't know what to do. Can you give him some medicine to improve his personality? I guess. I Suggestion. I don't, I don't. That's, uh, you know, you're making me feel like I don't know if I am getting the best advice from you. I love you. But I know you helped me so much. I'm just trying to give you excellent advice. And that's um, just not, it's not an answer. I'm thinking maybe hallucinogens would help. Um, you know, he would be really happy, I think, on hallucinogens. Yeah, uh, that's, that's an interesting idea. Um, but, um, you know what? I'm gonna. That's okay. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give him some hallucination uh, drugs and stuff. I thank you so much. That's that's. Um, it's. I, I, I just want to pay you that. back because you've helped me so much over the years. And we're good. We're good. Okay. We're, we're good. So tell me what's going on with you, man. Look, we gotta go soon. And uh, I, I probably should should just get right to the point, okay? Uh, I'm fine, but I'm I'm not sure you are. Like I you know, since you since you lost that job at the dentist, and uh, I'm you know, are you taking good care of yourself? I uh it's important to me you take good care of yourself. Are you eating vegetables? Are you eating enough vegetables? Do you have, I'm looking at your, I'm looking like you don't have a background, right? Like I do, I can see in it. Do I see any flowers, anything nice in your house? Gloria, listen, are, do you, you don't understand, Ollie, yes. listen, you don't understand. Yes. What? Whenever I eat, carbs during the day yeah i just am so hungry at night that i just you can only see me you can't see what a year inside has done to me so i'm touched sweet as ever music. hey you're still as sweet as ever vegetables vegetables and get some flowers just so the place looks nice Treat yourself as nice as I would if I could come over there, please. You know, you could you could send a flower in the, you know, RTD or whatever. I could, you know? but I, yeah, but I always worry that they're gonna substitute the wrong kind of flowers and, you know, that will be wilty and it'll just be disappointing. Uh, but uh, what I, I do, Listen, here's the yeah. deal. Yeah. I promise I will go and get some flowers for my mantle. Yes. If you promise me that you will do something without knowing the result. That's not logical. It's not logical. Nellie. It's not logical that you bring a waiter home with you. But he's so cute. He's just so cute. I thought I'd bring him with me. You don't Millie, like him? You don't like him? Millie, I like, I like it when you consult with me. Keeping these things secret and telling me about them afterwards. I just feel like I'm not as included in your life as I was before. I got a bit of a surprise again. I, I, got, us, I got us tickets to a Broadway show. Who's us? You well, and me? 
Or you and you and away. I got I got four tickets. Oh good! Oh good! Oh! Manuel. And I invited George. The other waiter. I had him flown in just for you. <laughs> You're gonna love him. I showed him your picture. He's like, oh, that one's a looker. Look at, really? Here's his picture. Here's his picture. Look, look at that face. He lands. He lands this afternoon. We got tickets for tomorrow. Dinner, a play. Oh. All right, he has a nice face. It's just dinner and a play. Millie, you gotta stop springing the stuff on me. I wanna be, I wanna be included earlier on. I'm not five. You don't have to surprise me like I'm a kid. Okay, well you can help plan the weddings. I thought we'd have a double wedding. Now I haven't set a date or anything yet. I, I figured you could you, you would help plan the weddings. I didn't want to surprise you too much. So I figured we could plan those together. I am going to help you plan your wedding, Millie. I have not yet met George. You'll see. You'll see. I know. I'm older. I know. Nelly, I'm coming up there. I'm coming up to check your, I'm going to take your temperature. Ah! It's only a four block walk. Come on over. I'll cut you some flowers. Blackout. Good. Thank you all. That was the first show. It's three different sets of cousins. Now we're going to have the second show. We're also going to examine cousins, three different kinds, three different types. Uh, all different than the last show. Uh, we have uh, the first group will be in the uh, doing a Zoom meeting a year ago, and that's Peter and Carol. I can have them. Good, and they 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 are characters Carl and Beth, and they will be in a Zoom meeting in three parts, all taking place in 2020, and then we have Ro and Carolyn, and they are going to be doing, they are cousins who will be Zooming with each other right now in the present tense, February 28th, 2021, as a different set of cousins. And then the third set of cousins, we have three this time for your dining and dancing pleasure, and they will be having a Zoom meeting one year from now in 2022. Also, they will be all three uh, groups will be doing scenes in three parts, all in their respective time, uh, a year ago, present day, and a year from now. And we'll start with our first group in 2020, uh, lights up. You have been such an inspiration. I, you know, my whole sleep pattern has changed. I'm starting to become this night person, like I was in college. Well, to be honest with you, Beth, I'm a little scared out of my wits by what's going on. I'll be over in no time. Yeah, we'll be back and doing whatever, you know, but it was perfect time to retire. Well, I got some more work ahead of me, but I feel great for you that you've been able to call it a day. Oh, yeah. It feels good. And and we got back together again, Carl. It's been so, you know, it's been great talking to you for the last few months. It's This whole thing is just kind of a new experience. You know, I'm not married. I don't have any kids. Not like you. You got, what, three kids. And yeah. it's just so great to connect again with you. I mean, it's been years. Yeah, it has. 
So you seem to have a pretty simple life. Well, I feel pretty good about things. I get to do what I want. I work the third shift at the brewery. And, you know, you learn. Yogi says you can learn a lot. You can observe a lot by watching. You know, I, I kind of worry about one thing, Carl. Every, every time we talk, you're drinking constantly. Well, they give you free beer at the brewery a couple cases a week. So, you know, I say drink up. You should, you should try it. You should so have you, some. So you feel like you, you have to finish it? Just well, because it's free? Every night I sit down, I probably have, oh, I'd say a six pack. It kind of chills me out. It's a good feeling. Yeah, but it can't be good for your liver. Well, you know something. Watch being a little judgmental here, Beth. I'm just, I'm just concerned. I'm just concerned. Yeah. Well, otherwise, I'm feeling pretty fit. I go out. I go fishing. I go hunting. I go out bowling with the guys. Things are good. Oh, good. I'm glad you have friends, Carl. I was beginning to wonder. Oh, no. No, I, I keep busy. I keep really busy. But you, you're retired now. Yeah, it's it's different. It's quiet. I like quiet. Yeah, but it's also lonely. So, I do I do believe in palm readers too. Absolutely. You remember that um, that summer we were? I think we were twelve. Years old, we spent on the Cape with your parents, and we went to that uh, that that fortune teller. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember what? You, do you remember what? I remember what she said. She said yeah. that uh, that you would have a successful career and a wonderful marriage and and uh, a beautiful family, and that uh, and that I would injure my leg. Yeah. <laughs> Well, both of those things happened. <laughs> and not that crazy? Because I injured my leg, and then you've got all the other things. <laughs> I don't know what she was reading. Well, what was your, uh, you know, that uh, that summer? I, I mean, that was in, what, 1973, 74? Here it is, 2021, and we haven't seen each other since then. I know, I know. It really sucked that the family just had that. Well, it was our moms, you know, yeah. the, the sisters. They were, I think it was you, your mom was very suspicious of, of, of me because I told her that I was a fairy. And and I was trying to to, to teach you the ways of the fairies. Yeah, and I loved it. I loved it because because every time you showed me something, it happened. Magic would happen. And you have the gift. You had the gift, and I bet you still have it. I I have I have done some things. Do you still I, have the, do what? You still have dust? Dust? There we go. Uh, don't waste it. Don't waste it. It's really more potent than you think. Oh, it's it's so potent. It's magical. Yeah, yeah. You still have it. It's it's possible. It's possible that we can meet with each other if we both use the dust and have the right incantations. I'm working on them. In the fairy forest. It's safe in the fairy forest. Yeah. Oh, I need to go shopping. I'm out of eggs. I never eat eggs. <laughs> I know you like them. Well, I'm out of them, so I get to go out. I, I haven't been out for two years. Oh, no. I just want you to relax and have fun. 
Just that. As a cousin, that's what I can say. Relax and have fun. Have yes, fun. Agatha. I, I want to have fun. I really, really, really want to have fun. Like, can't we have fun on Zoom, guys? Can't we have yeah. fun here? Well, Agatha, why don't you come visit me in France? It is fabulous. The city is coming to life again. Uh, can I, sorry, can I go too? Of course, both of you, Katrina and Agatha. Katrina, uh, tell Agatha she has to come visit. Uh, of course, I'll, I'll I'll come visit. Um, maybe in two thousand twenty-three. <laughs> no, no, come now. I can see the Eiffel Tower. I can see uh, that Ferris wheel. I can see French people. Come, I love French people. I love French people. Come you speak on. French. I do, parlez-vous français. I have to go buy oeufs. I want more, I want more. Tell me more, please, Sally. Come on. Well, well, yesterday I went and I bought a baguette and some jambon. Jambon, doesn't that have salmonella? No, it's all, we're all gone. We've been back, you've been vaccinated, Agatha. You can try to step out. I had salmonella vaccination. I don't think so. They haven't given me that yet. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll get it before I come. I had, yeah, I had vaccines all over my arm. Oh, you know, it's guys, you go through a lot for each other. I, I haven't gotten any vaccines yet. I'm honestly, that's what I've got to tell you. I haven't gotten Well, mine before. didn't bother me, but Katrina, your arms look very swollen. They do. Maybe it's the reaction, do you think? I think that, you know, that's a concern. Oh. It's always, I, 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 I haven't gone out to get the vaccinations yet, quite honestly. People around, you look shocked. But you they, look shocked. You have to get the, with all your health problems, Agatha. Yeah, come on, Agatha. Words of negation create hesitation. You guys care about me. Carl, I can come out there and take care of you. Well, Beth, I don't know. I was, uh, I got to tell you the story. I, um, I went out to the woods. I went some camping and, uh, you know, and I, I, I spent the night and I cooked myself some eggs and I had a few pops and all of a sudden I'm dreaming about these fairies. And I got to tell you. It's scary, Carl. I think you're losing it. I think you need somebody to take care of you a while. Get you off that booze. Oh, Beth, come on. Don't come down on me like that. Just because you're educated and I didn't graduate college, I know how to take care of myself. You are doing a very good job, Carl. Look at you. You can barely stand. How dare you? How dare you judge me that way? I can't. Just concerned. I, I got it. I, I, I appreciate the concern, but you know, I'm a man. I'm in my fifties. I'm healthy. Just I, because I like to have a few. Uh, pops, I have nothing you else. To do. I have nothing else to do. I'll just come out, make you a few meals, get you back on your feet again. It would be great to see you. It'd be great to have you come out. But my house, my rules. You know that. Oh, Carl, you're so difficult. Well, you know, I just kind of like it that way. I'm comfortable in my skin. Well, you know what? Your skin's starting to get pocky. You know, let's not be so judgmental there, Beth. I'm just stating a fact. We're all getting older. Absolutely. You can't handle this life like this anymore. You got to take care of yourself. Don't you want to live a while longer? You know, at a certain point, you let people let people live. Yeah. Let them live their lives, huh? Just live it. Don't mess yourself up the whole time. How can you enjoy a life where you're in a woods and you can't get back because you think you see fairies? 
well, I'm just telling you, I had this weird experience and it was the first time. And these fairies just kind of showed up and it was kind of magical, you know? You know what, Carla? I envied your relationship with your mother. I wish that she had liked me. I, I would have liked to, I would have liked to stay with you and your family. I mean, my mother was colorful, but she was, you know, crazy. Are you crazy? Do you know what my mother's told me? She said to me, I wish that you, that is, she said, I wish Aurora was the daughter I really had. Yes, yes. I don't hold it against you. Wow. I just think, so I'm not, maybe it would have worked that way, but okay, you know, it's, I keep away from her as much as possible these days. Do you? Yes. Yeah, my mother passed uh, last year, but... Um, I know, and I didn't say anything, did I? I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. It was, it, it, you know, it's it wasn't really a, a mournful situation. It was, uh, she was in bad shape. And, uh, well... Yeah, well, we, we weren't, I'm glad that her spirit comes to see us. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it's happier now. Yeah. I, I really feel like I have to apologize for not being in touch with you then. I, I really feel bad about that. Yeah, it was, a, our moms were, were you know, butting heads so hard that my mom told me that I couldn't see you. Your mom told me that you couldn't see me. And it wasn't until we ran into each other at, uh, at Trisha's wedding, yeah. you know, a couple of years back <clears throat> that, that we realized that we're, we're adults now. We can, we can be friends. Yeah. I and mean, yeah. fuck that crazy family dynamic. I'm just so sick of it. I just fuck I that shit. It. Yeah. 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 I mean, mom never believed in the fairy stuff. No, she didn't. Ah, uh, I have to tell you something. <gasps> I got a fucking reaction. <laughs> laughing sally, sally <laughs> that's 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 disheartening it always happens the, the first time they put it on me it happened and I'm now i get three vaccines for covid plus the other virus plus the other virus so uh, I'm never <laughs> where did you get those shots from who gave you three shots uh, i don't care who gave them to her i'm never getting them from anybody <laughs> Look what you've done, Katrina. You have I completely scared one. Agatha. I, I, oh, no, Agatha, oh, please. It scared oh. me so much. I, I had to climb in the closet oh, for a minute. Please. I'm so sorry. Oh, I have a good idea, though. No, no What? I don't have to go anywhere. I want to invite you guys to my home. Why don't you come here? I've never been to Atlanta. I would oh, love to go. It's a beautiful place, Sally. Oh. I can't go to Atlanta. It's the heat. It's the heat. I hate the heat. I, I hate the big houses. I hate the I hate the savannas. You hate they don't have savannas here anymore. They, you know what I mean? That hot wind that blows back and forth. I hate it. I love it. <laughs> I love the movies of the cowboys with that heat and that is yes, the they have heat. accents too. They have really nice. You'd like the accent, Sally. They don't sound like French, but but they're very nice and they're and they're very welcoming. Oh, Agatha. I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Beth, Beth, I'm, I'm sorry too. Don't be sorry. I would love for you to come out and spend some time together with you. It's been a long time. I would really like that. Things are getting crazy. I'm not sure I should even leave the house. Well, if not now, maybe later. But I think it would be good if you came out and we spent some time together, together and you can see what my life is like. And you could possibly kick back. We could go fishing. I can cook some meals, some crack some eggs. We'll have a good time together. I haven't been fishing since my dad took me when I was four. <laughs> oh, I remember fishing with my dad too. I mean, those are moments. Those are special moments. Yeah. I'm not sure how to make new moments, Carl. I, I'm just, it's just starting to get to me being here by myself. Well, Look, I, I, I know it's, it's, it's not easy. I know we haven't seen each other in a long time and we're just reconnecting this way, but you got nobody at home. You can call your kids from anywhere. I got plenty of room. We can spend and we can catch up and you know, you can see what my life is like so you're not as judgmental. Well, in the meantime, maybe you could send me a case of beer. Well, Sure. Happy to. Send you two. Oh, all right. Well, get me ready for when I get there. You can uh, warm up. Warm up. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit of training. But just, you know what? We'll go fishing. We'll go camping. We'll make dinner together. We'll catch up because you only got family. You're so right. You're so right. It sounds wonderful. No, I... I... And Yes, you know, this is over in a couple months. I think we could do that, you know? I hope so. I really, really hope so, because it would be great to get together with you again. I mean, oh, I'm boy. sorry I was so, so, so. Oh, it's, it's okay. I mean, you I know, understand. I can, I can be kind of. So. Well, being, you know, a single guy, I'm set in my ways. You know, about a year ago, I was I was uh, messing with this drunk guy's head. <laughs> I wonder if he's still around. I was going over. He kept he was going. Oh, I see fairies. I see fairies. <laughs> right. I wonder if he's still around. <laughs> well, that's a great thing to do because then somebody will just blame it on the alcohol, and they won't like get in on how it really works. <laughs> That's smart. You're yeah. smart. Uh, you got to have some fun, you know, in this life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, no. cats make me sneeze. They really get me in the nose. More dust. Oh. Oh, I think that one came through. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah, take it in. Oh. Oh, you're wonderful. Let's go to the forest. It cleared. Oh. Oh, you. I can't wait till we get together. Oh, you really have. You have developed the skills. Yeah, there's, there's so much. There's so many wonderful fairies waiting for us. The gargoyles, watch out for the trolls and the gargoyles. Yeah. Well, there's a couple of bad fairies too, but there's there some bad fairies. You still have that portal in your bedroom. The portal is in my bedroom. Oh, I've got to get on a plane soon. You can come anytime. Oh, I just have to have my own portal at some point. You do. You do need a portal. Just take a little more dust and it'll happen. I'll okay. give it a shot. I'll okay. give it a shot. Snort it in. Snort it in. Snort it in good. Woo. Woo. <laughs> 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 oh. Powerful.
purple, don't you? Edibles have nothing over this dust. <sighs> wow. Oh. Agatha, I got a ticket online. Oh, Sally, you're so sweet. Did you direct say flight from Paris to Atlanta? Oh, that makes me so happy. And Katrina, you yeah. look like you're all dressed up to come. Yeah. I already booked my flight too. You know, <laughs> I'm so excited and I got this box in the mail. It's like labeled to someone named Carla. <laughs> it's got some kind of Watch dust out, you're going to get one of these, huh? It's like, I, oh, I, I feel amazing. I feel better than I felt in two years. Oh my goodness. I feel Sally. like I feel like this exercise is like basic mirror. Katrina. Huh? This is this is amazing. You you look like new people to me. What what kind of a box was that? It says it says fairy dust. <gasps> oh my I didn't know that Sally. Me neither. Fairy dust? I didn't think that really existed. I'm blowing it your way, Sally. <sighs> you want some, Katrina? Oh. <gasps> My goodness. It's, it's made me, I feel lighter already. <sighs> you need a little bit of allergy, but it's okay. Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. Fine. You know, I can, I, I, I want more. I can I'm having a hard time seeing. I think I could come take care of you. Both of you. I feel like I can leave the house. All the clocks in my house are wrong. Oh, but but we're going to your house. Yes, yes, and then I'll go to yours. Sally. Sally. Are you okay, yes. Sally? Are you okay? I, I, I don't feel like I, I I might have to move to the couch. Okay. We're worried about you. Sally. Don't be worried. Sally. I really miss you guys. Sally, I miss you too. I'll come to Paris. I'll come to Paris. I don't know what's powder. happening. Is it oh. crying powder or something? I don't like know. Oh. No, it's burning. Oh, Sally. Oh, oh, I'm so, oh my God. I miss you guys so much. This has been so hard. Oh, but we're going to get together again. Maybe if I just take a shower and rinse off. Oh. I, I feel like I'm losing control of something. I don't know. It's just like a lot of pain. Oh, oh my, my gosh. I know this is bad. Agatha, yeah. I don't know what kind of fairy dust I was, but it I might know. have been tainted. Oh, no, I hope this dust? isn't the no. start of another no. epidemic. The one time I let loose, the one time I let go in my whole life, and I give us tainted fairy dust. Tainted no. Fairy dust. It can't be. God. It can't be. You're smiling. <gasps> Katrina, was this a joke? Did you no, send this in no, the mail? I didn't, I didn't send it to you. I swear for to God, I didn't have not sent it to you. I didn't. I didn't. No, no, no. Pass I now. I, I feel, I feel. <sighs> I think it was a hot Coming flash. down. I think it was just a hot flash. Hot flash. I think it's just, we are like losing our emotions, so we are not having control about anything. So that's right, it. right, right. Everything's back to normal. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're all going to Atlanta. Atlanta in the spring. Blackout. Good. Hi, Atlanta. Come on back, everybody. Take a virtual bow. Nicely done. Wait for everybody. Nancy, Oliver, Don. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Bye. And thanks for watching this session of The Follies with Michael Gellman and the Ensemble. And in just a few minutes, we've got another show and The Follies. So hang on for Jeff Machowski's Ensemble coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming to the session of the Follies. Oh, yeah.